Hi folks, Terry back from Terry's O Gauge Trains and I want to do a video. It's my first video of 2024. Oh, it's been a while. Uh certainly been a while since you've seen this setup, my layout. Uh we finally got set up. We just moved into our new place. We've been here about two weeks, the wife and I. This is the first chance I had to get a chance to shoot a video. And so I want to show you some things are the same from the layout. A few new things have been added. Uh, I saw the Gerard Whistling Tower and the Ranch Style House and the Water Tower. But a couple of new things I added is this log cabin over here. This was actually and farm. These were actually my father's. I found them in storage when we were moving out. And you see in this little neat little house, it has. Uh, well, a hand pump, it even has his or hers outhouses. So I thought that was kind of neat, so I put it on the layout. And then we have some visitors from the house and some new new additions. There's, of course, you see every, we have Oscar the Grouch at the Whistling Station. Uh, over here we got Doctor Who visiting in the TARDIS. And then we have... Uh, a T-Rex being challenged by the Incredible Hulk. And then we also have Torceratops there. My nephew gave me that. And then we have two uh, characters I think everybody recognizes. We have Optimus Prime and Optimus Primal. And then, of course, my wife donated Minnie Mouse back there. But another reason I wanted to shoot this video was I'm going to bring it around here. I'm doing this for some friends of mine, fellow YouTubers, Trains in the Valley. Their names are Corey and Victoria Conrad. Uh, let me bring this around. Uh, stop it right there. Now, this particular Lionel locomotive is Lionel 2026. Now, the headlights bulb is out. i got to get a new one in. But that's nothing against them. It did work when I bought it. Uh, but what's unique about this train is from the locomotive all the way back to the caboose. Uh, that's a uh, Atlantic Coastline lighted caboose. The auto carrier, everything with the exception of the loads and the hopper and the pipe load and the blue gondola came from Corey and Victoria's shop. At trains in the valley. Most of the cars were less than ten dollars. Uh, there were a few. Uh, I think the auto carrier was like twenty-five. Uh, but other than that, and the locomotive was twenty-five. So I want to point out the kind of stuff they sell. They they buy collections. Uh, they, I'll put a link to their YouTube and website. In the description, you can check out their YouTube channel, Trains in the Valley, and their website is trainsinthevalley.com. Uh, a lot of nice stuff. They do uh, new and used O gauge. They do a lot of MTH Premier uh, and Lionel and the O gauge. They do primarily HO, that's their focus. They have some N scale items, track accessories in HO and O, and even um, some G scale. Uh, I said they do buy, they sell new stuff, but they also buy, sell, and trade. Now I'll bring you over here to the billboards that I added, and you can see. I'll try to zoom in. Ah, uh, picture that's the first billboard. Trains in the Valley with Corey and Victoria. That's their picture. And as I said, I'll put a. I know you can't read the website, but I will put a link to that. In the video, and then if you go over here, I have another one. It's kind of, well, I'll try to zoom that in. There is another billboard. These billboards were actually made using business cards from the Corey and Victoria's train shop from Trains in the Valley. Uh, the billboard actually has the locomotive, and then on the bottom it says, Take your railroad, or excuse me, take your model railroad to the next level. They're a very nice couple. Uh, very nice to deal with. I've had nothing but positive results with them. So I'm going to get this train going here. Let me back out. 
and you see it is a smoking lion owl. And let's see, oh, before I go, in, I want to mention too, I'm going to drop down here. Uh, let me pause. I also picked up from Trains in the Valley this nice Menards flatbed. Now, the helicopter I added myself, I had that. It was an old RC helicopter that no longer worked. And then I got this real nice MTH Rail King Pennsylvania tank car. Again, so this is a sampling of the good things you can find there. It, uh, they have a store in Elizabethville, PA. They are in the process of, they just bought some ground, of building a large train shop in Valley View, PA. That, so a little ways off till it's going to be open. They just uh, started clearing the uh property and getting ready but hopefully in the very near future that will be up and running i know i look forward to being there for the grand opening and um put these down now uh they also uh have their website which again i will put a link in the description for it. Now, this is not a paid promotion for Trains of Valley. They don't even know I'm doing this. I just want to let people know who might not be familiar with their website or I've done business that you can find some really good O-gauge, N-gauge, H-O, G-scale uh, trains and track accessories on a budget. You don't have to break the bank. Now, they do have DCC stuff. They have stuff with sound effects, you know, the Premier... MTH Premier on that, Lionel. Uh, whatever, they have something pretty much for everybody. So we're going to get it started here. They're gone. Uh, I don't know if the smoke will show up on video. Sometimes it doesn't. I will mention the other train there. It does run. I might get it run. That's my old that's a Marks 898 with uh, 10 lithic assists. That did not come from trains in the valley, uh, but it's still a nice little set. I might run it, but I mainly wanted to feature the trains, in, what I call the trains in the Va valley express. Now, excuse, say that again, trains in the valley express. So here she comes, Corey and Victoria. When you see this, I hope you appreciate it. And you really enjoy it. So, so let's see if you can. Now, as you can see, it is smoking. I don't know if that's showing up on the video. It smokes pretty good. Uh, it was an originally a pellet smoker, but I haven't thought so. I converted it to uh, liquid smoke uh, with a conversion kit, and uh, but it really runs great. I there you see a little bit. So I run baby oil in them because uh, you can get a whole bottle. A uh, big bottle for about a dollar, a dollar tree, or a dollar store, and it lasts forever. <coughs> Sorry. I want to so take you out back around the layout. Yeah, uh, I also have the uh, animated gondola there, uh, the cop chasing the hobo around. You see, that was another train. That was my most recent trains in the valley find. There's the other billboard. Yeah, uh, I really wanted to shoot this for my friends, Corey and Victoria. And I hope you all enjoyed it. If you do, be sure to comment on it. And uh. I said, I'm going to put a link to the video, I slowed the train down a little bit, in the description to their store so that uh, you can check it out. And I encourage you to do so. Uh, you won't be disappointed. Uh, they're good people and they'll take good care of you. And what's really unique is anything you buy from Corey and Victoria, this is something I think is really nice, is Corey's wife, Victoria, actually will take the time to put a handwritten note of appreciation into every order. So I think I, I always thought that was a really nice touch. Like I said, they, they're very nice people. I encourage you to check them out. I just wanted to do that video. Uh, let you see them running. Well, yeah, the 
They said everything in that slot train did come from their store. I am very pleased with everything I got. Uh, uh, I said you, if you got trains you want to sell, a collection, buy something, you can reach out to them for that too. And I'll get the marks going too. There's the little marks tin letter. Now a lot of people don't like some of the little marks tin letter because they're six inch to six inch anyway. Because they say it's not prototypical, it looks too much toy, toyish. But I happen to really like it. And like I tell everybody, your layout, your rules. You can do whatever you want with it. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna, I may have to stop this Lionel soon. That smoke will eat the baby oil after a while it does get to you. So I'm probably going to be wrapping it up here. I'm going to bring these around and bring them to a stop. And then we'll uh, call it a shoot. I'll let it stop then. Yeah, there you go. The Trains in the Valley Express. There's still smoke coming off the end, out of the smokestack of the engine. Yeah, this thing will smoke you like a chimney. It'll actually chase you out of the room. So... Hope you liked the video. Corey and Victoria, I hope you like it. And I'll get this posted and you can enjoy it. That's all from Terry's O-Gage Trains.